Hey everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com, and in today's video we're going to look at A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton. Right, we're going to check out the main riff here, but over at HDPiano.com you'll be able to find the rest of the videos with the rest of the song. So, it looks like this. All right. Lovely little ditty, very classical, very expressive. And it being the main riff, it, it kind of comes and goes throughout the whole song. It's like a, it's, you know, a lot of songs, the main riff, the way we teach it, is something that you just play continuously throughout the song. But in this case, this is like a recurring theme that fills in a lot of gaps. Um, so I'll be talking about how to play the verse, how to play the chorus, and the bridge in the future videos. But all of those videos will kind of inherently feature the main riff at points because it just keeps coming back. All right. So before we get started, just a quick question. I've walked about 30 miles, so that might be like the farthest I've ever walked, you know, without any mechanical assistance. Um, no cars, no trucks, no buses, no planes. You know, that was on a backpacking trip in the Pacific Northwest. So I'm curious, how far have you guys walked, whether just for fun or for love or whatever? Comment below. Let's see who's uh, holding the record here. If any of you have done the Appalachian Trail, then you might be the winners in that case. All right, let's get right to it. So... It's, uh, it sounds tricky, but when we break it down, it's not so bad. Let's first look at the left hand, and you guys will see just how simple the left hand is. All right, so once we get that, it can't be too much harder. So here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. How many notes was that? Three. Yep, easier than you might have thought. So, we've got E, F sharp, D sharp, back to E. Repeat. Repeat again. Repeat one more time, but this time, the E comes just a little bit early in that last measure. All right, so breaking it down nice and slow, I'm going to count along and show you guys how the rhythm pans out. Three, four, one E and a two, and three, four. One E and a two and three, four. One E and a two and three, four. One E and a two and three and four. Notice that last one, the and of three. All right, go ahead and rewind that as many times as you need, but it's pretty quick to internalize and it's a very you know consistent rhythm um, using what I like to call the pop clave because it's just a, a rhythm that we hear throughout. All sorts of modern day pop music. One knee and a two and three, four. Right? Right? That is such a common rhythm, so it should be something that you can just pick up because you just hear it so much in, in you know on the radio and throughout all sorts of songs. Alright. So we've got the left hand, let's file that away and take a look at the right hand. By the way, middle C is down here, so everything in this video is above middle C. So we're starting with a low B. We're kind of alternating between this low B and at first this high B. So it's consistently a low B in the thumb, but we're going from a high B to an A sharp to an F sharp. All right. Now rhythmically, we have a pickup. The left, uh, sorry, the thumb picks up on the last sixteenth note of the of the previous measure. So four E and a one. So just try that with me there. Four E and O one. All right, now let's just add four E and O one E and a. Four E and O one E and a. All right, so it's just alternating up until that point, and then we play an A sharp. Low high, low high, A sharp. Okay, try that much. Here we go. Four E and O one E and a. Even slower, four E and a, one E and a. All right, so now we're gonna slip a B and another A sharp. B, A sharp, all right? So I just repeated those last two. A sharp, B, A sharp. And when you've got that, then you can add an F. So that's a steady stream of 16th notes, so let's stop there. 
four E and a one E and a two E and three four and a that's four E and a so beat four we play a D sharp for an eighth note four E and a and the final two sixteenth notes C sharp and B now that B that low B falls on the final sixteenth note of beat four which just launches us right back into doing it again so the first measure four E and a one E and a two E and three and four and a so let's just loop that much three and four and a. one more time three and four all right so when you've got that down the second measure is slightly different it's a steady stream of 16 notes for the whole measure and it looks like this four e and a second measure all right, so what, what are we doing there we're kind of filling that space with just alternating between an f sharp and a b so if you break it down we've got everything we already know and when we get to this f sharp we're just continuing in the rhythm we're filling up all of beat three so two e and a three e and a two e and a three e and a now beat four we're also filling up we're playing d sharp e d sharp c sharp so two E and a three E and a four E and a, and from here it's tempting to go back to our low thumb, but we've got to jump up this time. So when we go into the third measure, we're not proceeding it with a low B, but rather a C sharp. All right, so the first two measures, nice and slow, look like this: four E and a, three and. Four E and a B F sharp B F sharp B up to the B three and like the first measure and then the last measure we start on a D sharp and we walk down to B and jump up to D sharp so D sharp C sharp B D sharp C sharp B F sharp so we do a Double walk down from D sharp there. Three and four and. That's, that's the right hand. Now, putting them together might be a little tricky, so let's just look at where they line up. So the first one hits with the B. Next one hits with the A sharp. Next one hits with the F sharp. So there's like what we're really hearing in our ears, right? And the rest is kind of just filler. Right? When you hear that, you kind of notice that the way that I'm playing it, I'm not giving every note equal weight. It's mostly about those, you know, key rhythmic moments. Right? That pop clave. And the rest of the notes are kind of just, you know, tucked underneath uh, to kind of fill the space and, and give it some rhythm, but not too much focus, right? We want to just really focus on that kind of upper melody. Put the hands together one more time, and I'll go super duper slow for you guys. Four E and uh, three and four. One E and uh, two. Four. One. Three and four. Three, 
and four and. Okay, that is the main riff. That's going to be recurring throughout the whole song, sometimes with lower octaves in the left hand, but the right hand is going to be pretty much consistent. And like I said earlier, it's just one of those things that it never you know, goes for more than a few measures, but it just keeps popping in, filling the space. We see it in the verse, we see it in the chorus, etc. So we'll see you over at the next video where I'll be teaching the verse, followed by the chorus, bridge, and you know, a few notes about the ending and the form and all that stuff. And that's all over at hdpiano.com. All right, this is Devin with hdpiano.com. And in the meantime, if you guys could head over to Facebook and check us out, that's hdpiano at Facebook. And on Instagram and Twitter, you can follow us at hdpiano. On Twitter, we take requests using the hashtag hdrequests. So if there's anything you want us to throw up in our catalog, let us know that way. And on Instagram, we're happy to repost your performances. So if you learn this or any other song, let us know and we'll share it with our followers. All right, this is Devin. We'll see you over there, guys. Thanks. <laughs>